Hello humans, my name's Simperfect and this is Stardew Valley. Yet again, we're back to Stardew Valley. I thought I'd resurrect Joja on my mind as a, a theme for these Let's Plays because we've had this new update. There's more stuff to do in the post game. There's more farms. I thought it may as well be, we may as well start again, basically, because there are these different farms. So I'm gonna try one if you look down the right here. We've got standard riverland, forest, hilltop, and wilderness. I'm gonna go for the hilltop farm because it does have a river, and I'd like a river. It's a winding, thin river. Um, and a few different mi mineral deposits, a few raised areas, a few low areas. I had a look at it um, on Google, and I, I think that's that's the one I want to go for. Hilltop farm. So what I've made is this guy, um, kind of Mr. Autumn himself. We have Jack. He's gonna arrive at Rust Creek Farm. I imagine the river would run red with copper since there's all kinds of ore on this farm. And of course, because he's Mr. Autumn, his favorite thing is pumpkin spice. We're gonna go for dog rather than cat because I think he's a bit of a more physical outdoorsy kind of person. Um, great. Let's see what happens. for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. Come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Grandpa. Now let Grandpa rest. 20 years later. Joja, join us, thrive, work. <laughs> so we've become a Joja employee. There's Mario. Terminated. Presumably their employment has been terminated rather than they themselves. Cowboy licking himself. Excellent. And there's me on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Trying desperately to keep awake. Oh dear. <sighs> Sigh. Now, this may be the perfect moment to open my letter. Dear Jack, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature. So, I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deeds to that place. My pride and joy, Rust Creek Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Great. Sure will. I love Stardew Valley. I have played through, I've completed the, um, the community center track, um, with a character. Absolutely loved it. It's so wholesome. Such a nice kind of game to come home to after a day's work really isn't it it's uh, it's quite relaxed very heartwarming little bird there lovely graphics lovely music and all created by this one guy um, and now we've got a few more options hello you must be jack i'm robin the local carpenter 
Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. Sure thing, Robin. Mmm. Now, I've never seen this before, actually, in the game. This is our new farm. This is Rust Creek Farm. Yikes! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. So I don't know if you've seen any of the Civilization VI videos recently, uh, where all of the announcements are with this northern girl. <laughs> she's a northern girl, but she's pronouncing everything very precisely. And then, of course, there's Sean Bean doing the more important, uh, like the kind of quotations and that kind of thing being exceedingly northern. Here we go, let's have a look at our house. And here we are, your new home. Oh, hello. You're, you're in my home. There, yeah. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah, rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Laughing, laughing, laughing. Extra content for tutorial mode. Don't listen to her, Jack. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Our first example here of capitalism in action. Thanks for that, my love. Hmm. The less happy you are, the more likely you are to buy things. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I'm sure they would. Thanks for that, Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. <laughs> Freak. Okay, well, good luck. You're gonna need it. Lovely. <laughs> Morning time. My progress has been saved. Excellent. Auto save. <gasps> oh my gosh. The inside of the house is different because I've picked a different map. That is exceedingly exciting. Yeah, we've got kind of a mine theme going on. Oh great. What's this? A small crystal furniture can be placed inside my house. Yeah, let's just chuck it there. What's this? No, nothing, anything? Right click. <gasps> 15 parsnip seeds. Excellent. I received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. I'm just going to turn that music down. Oh my gosh. Music volume. No, no, no. Sure, I turned this down before. There we go. Okay. What do I have? Um, getting used to these controls again. I'm going to right click on the TV weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow it's going to be clear and sunny. Fine. Gorgeous. What is this? Hello? Oh, it's a, a move thing. Something I can move. A candle lamp can be placed inside my house. Great. Can I turn it on? Maybe it turns on at night. Ah. The great outdoors. I suppose, first things first, let's get the scythe going. And we'll clear out this little space. This looks perfect. Perfect for my first little plantation. Plantation, is that right, friends? some space. Great. Let's do the axe. I'm not worried about, like, preserving 
things just yet, like trees and the, the grass that we just had. Not bothered just right at the moment. Need this space, moreover, to grow me turnips. Is it turnips? Parsnips. Get confused. Okay, what do I need? Axe. Oh, I've got the axe. Here we go. Get rid of this tree. What's this? Exclamation mark. Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. We'll certainly do more than that. And greet everybody in town. Lovely. Okay. Nearly cleared out. Just these stones to do. Okay. Do I have enough wood? Um, do I remember <laughs> the controls? Uh, e. There we go. Do I have enough wood to craft a chest? Not quite. Um, I'm going to want that so I can store things, surprisingly enough. Let's get this going. This is the Minecraft- oh, this is the Stardew Valley equivalent of Minecraft's going out and punching a tree. Ultimately, you just want some wood to get yourself going. Okay, now let's try it. Crafting chest. Good. Am I right in thinking I choose colours of things? Maybe. Right, for now. Is that buildable? That's buildable. Bit obvious. Just gonna craft that. There! Um, right click, there we go, and I can colour it now so that I can remind myself what's inside. Um, let's colour, let's see what blue looks like. Wow, that is very blue. <laughs> Maybe purple to match his hair? Uh, purple. Great. Um, so we're going with that. For now, I'm going to store stuff like this fibre. Uh, I'm going to grow those mixed seeds if I can. Uh, sap, stone, wood. Don't need it exactly right at this moment. Ho! Time for hoeing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Multiples of nine are quite useful because I can like water it by going around. Um... What else might be good? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out nine is fifteen. We're gonna want a bit more than that, so I'll just do. For now. Okay, pass it. Right, there's my fifteen parsnips. I'm growing some mixed seeds. And watering time. This is basically, you know. Hard Labour Simulator 2016. Oh, did it come out 2015? I can't remember now. Um, yes. Eventually, when we've got so much to do, I'll start cutting it out. But for the time being, I think we're good. Right, 11am. I'm just going to take a quick tour around the farm. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get through, am I? Scythe. Ooh. So we've got this bit around here. I think this is eventually going to become my uh, growing area through to this river. Lovely. Little bridges across the river. Fight my way through this. I've got a raised section here. This might be some like really special growing things or, or you know, I don't know, something along those lines. I'm not going to be able to get through that one until I can clear the big rock, which will take um, a pickaxe upgrade. Fair enough. <laughs> so nice to be back with this music. So it's weird that I can get through there, but can't get through that one. Okay, fine. Will I be able to get to all of these geodes? I will. Look at that. <laughs> and I guess because these are gonna, I hope, re redo, they'll respawn, won't they? Wow, this is gonna be really useful. I found a geode, local blacksmith can break it open for me. Who knows what's hidden inside? Not got a huge amount of health left, but I'll get these low-hanging geodes, I reckon. Uh, round here. It really is time to go and say hi to everybody in the village, if we can find
find them. Oh my gosh, do I remember my way back to the house? We went up and around. Here we go, we're on our way. Um, so I've called it Jojo on my mind because I think we're going to try and complete the Jojo track rather than the community centre track. You know, something a little bit different. I need to get used to right clicking. Good. In there, in there. Bang, bang, bang. I'm going to keep the geode on me and hopefully we'll be able to sell it to the blacksmith. Taking a sip of tea. It's weird to go back to a village where I've not unlocked everything compared to my other save where like, no, I've not looked, unlocked absolutely everything, but I've unlocked quite a lot of stuff. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Excellent. Oh, no, don't press E. Right click. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Great. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, I'm fine. So in my other Let's Play, no, not Let's Play, just playthrough, um, I am dating Harvey, married to Harvey, of course. Uh, I think I'll go for Shane, though, in this one, since he's in one of the new marriage options. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, I'm Jody. Yeah, thanks Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Good, 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 good. Hello, you must be Jack, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Great. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Purple hair, purple hair club. <laughs> Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Thanks, Gran. Lovely. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Excellent. Thanks, Maru. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. <laughs> it sure is. I'm going around collecting people. Let's see who this is. Well, hello there. I'm Gus. I missed that. Hi there, Jack. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Oh, thanks, Gus. Hi there, Jack. Blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Where else can we go? I'm not really expecting to get everybody in this one pass through. Uh, nope. Such a gorgeous little game. It shows that you don't need fancy graphics, you just need, like, coherent graphics, you know what I mean? Ooh. Hello there, welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Sure would, fella. There's a book missing here. There's a book missing here. Am I clicking on the right thing? I want us to click on the right thing. No. I think it's basically telling me that I need to collect books, which I shall. Where am I going? Ooh. Locked. Damn it. Okay, well I've got the geodes for whenever I need them. That is where I would sell the geodes. And here, life is better with Jojo. Excellent. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Things popping up on my screen. Good. Tick. Bang. Go. Who do we have? <gasps> Shane! Our first meeting! Shane's hard at work. He doesn't want to talk. Will he now leave? Come on, Shane. <laughs> Magically got changed. Mr. B Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben, is that what he called? I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> he likes me.
Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help you make your transition a joyous experience. Excellent. Who are you? Oh, you're just a shop. Should we, should we Joja our place up? Uh, ooh, all this stuff. Wallpaper. How much do we have? We have 500. Hmm. So far, we're growing a load of parsnips. I might get some beans. Beans? Oh, what am I doing? What did I do? I clicked something. Okay, so I've got one bean. I think I made my decision. I'm going to get three beans. Lovely. Who do we not... Who have we not spoken to yet? That's what I'm trying to say. What's this? Question mark. So there's our thing. We've got Lucy's birthday at the end of the week. Good. Nothing posted. So it was just, look at this. This is our thing. Yay. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Oh, thanks, Troy. I'll see you around. Yay, maybe we'll sing karaoke together and then we can fall in love. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Nope. She's basically Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Bookish lady. Anybody else? Oh. Oh. It's her. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. <laughs> I hate you. These clothes are pretty cool. You know? I mean, it's definitely my <laughs> my color palette as a human, as in me. It's imperfect. Brown, gray, black. That kind of color. I don't think he's going to let me in his bedroom. Which is probably wise. I have to chat to Sam later. Spoken, spoken, spoken. Tick, 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 tick. How many do we have? Introductions. 13 out of 28. Hmm, 15 more to go. It's quite a lot more to go. It's alright. Now, it's going to be really useful if I can fight my way through to my house from under here. That's locked. Fine. What I might do is go back to the pub. It's locked. Okay. Yeah. People tend to hang around the pub if memory serves. It is a few months since I've played this game, to be honest. Which is why I'm right-clicking when I should be pressing E. And pressing E when I should be right-clicking. Okay. The Star Drop Saloon. Back here again. Who did we miss? Ah. New peeps. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Hey, kid. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. <laughs> Cheers, Pam. Hey, kid. Great. Excellent. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. That's where I am. Right now. Good. Emily is one of our new spouse options. And she'd be pretty cool because she's got blue hair. She's quite crafty. Um, I don't know if you're watching this, my brother or my brother's girlfriend, but I see her very much as my brother's girlfriend. Haha. <laughs> um, and look, this is this is actually my brother. If you ever wondered what my brother looks like, this is it. One of them. I have two brothers. Um, uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Great. Um, okay, so that seems to be everybody that we're gonna probably see. 16 out of 28 ain't bad. Will he talk to us? No, he won't. Okay. Back home, I reckon. Oh, I love the lighting effect. I think we're gonna do well here with our new life on the farm. Okay, so coming to the end of the episode then let me know what you think i do it do you agree that shane should be our boyf and husband is that a phrase husband um is, am i using the right thing oh no it's already hoed pre-hoed 
Excellent. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, water. Yeah, do you agree, Shane? Or should we go for someone else? I'm, I'm, I'm quite strongly leaning to Shane, let me tell you. <laughs> it's that instinct to go for the bad boys, I suppose. Look, our light is glowing. Um... Yeah, what do you think of this new update? Give us a like if you can, it'll really help me out in this new series, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Okay, good night, bye for now.